When we speak about liturgy, I think it's important to understand um, there's many different aspects of liturgical living. It's the broader category that we could kind of place it under. Um, the liturgy itself it gives us the pattern to a different way of life. In the anaphora, when we take this world, the bread and the wine, and we offer it to God with thanksgiving, and then God gives it back to us full of himself, and it becomes this point of union with God, a point of meeting with God, and a point where we can encounter God through the matter of this world. And that's precisely what the incarnation enabled us to do. It enabled us to encounter God through the matter of this world. As St. John of Damascus says, he says, I venerate not matter, but I venerate the creator of matter, who became matter, and who through matter accomplished my salvation. He says, I cease not to venerate the matter through which my salvation is accomplished. So in that regard, liturgy is very materialistic, but in a good way. It enables us to redeem our world, and the anaphora shows us how to do this. Any time that I can take something in my life, whether it's a glass of water, a good meal, positive relationship that I might have with somebody, uh, anything, whether matter or not, I can take my life and the moment that I offer it to God with thanksgiving, even the difficult things and even some of the bad things in my life, it can become Eucharistic or a place where I can meet God, connect with God and ultimately redeem that item, redeem that moment, redeem that relationship, redeem that difficulty or that trying uh, circumstance I might be in. So the anaphora shows us that we're to take this world and to, to offer it up with thanksgiving. And through that interaction, my life and my world become transformed and my life and my world become sanctified, becomes Eucharistic. And ultimately, this is kind of the failure that Adam had in the garden. You know, he, he, he took the world. And the real kind of original sin, if you want to use that word, is that Adam took the world and he used it apart from God for himself and basically emptied it of all of its real content, which is ultimately all of the things in the world are a sign of God's love, his mercy, a reminder of that great love of God that he has for us, that he created everything uh, for us, and ultimately uh, for us to know him in a, in a greater capacity. All the things that we see, you know, the great multitude of variations of all of these plants and stars and fruits and vegetables and everything that we could think of. It's like this is the continuing kind of um, understanding of God's great infinite love for us and ultimately his, his, his mercy uh, that he, he, he has in making each one of these things and ultimately giving them to us as little gifts, as Elder Porphyrius says. So the liturgy, it's, it's ultimately something bigger than just what we do in the, the building of the church and what we have on Sunday morning, but it is the door. It is the entry point to a different way of life. As we leave the liturgy, the priest exhorts us, let us depart in peace. And ultimately to take that gift of the liturgy and to take it out into our personal world and to transform our own unique personal world into the kingdom of God.